Hello everyone and welcome to this week's extension quick tip tutorial. This is going to be a tutorial that's very quick about a few ways you can secure and uh, basically clean up and faster distribute your code. The first of which is by using gulp.js. For those of you unfamiliar, you can use things from uh, node.js as plugins to basically quickly process all of your files, uh, obfuscate any of them that you need to be protected, and then do any other minimization or obfuscation you need before exporting them and saving them to your users. So if you go to gulp.js, you can get started by installing a node npm and then going through all of the information about how to basically use gulp and process amounts of files. And once you've set it up, how essentially it's going to work is you'll have a gulpfile.js set up where you have the name of your panel, the product name and the panel version. And then you can do things like clean up your files, copy them uglify them, which means to obfuscate them. And then you can go through and even go to the plugins built into the website. And there's over 3,800 plugins to choose from that can do everything from minifying PHP to resizing images. And you can even just uh, type in things if you wanted to obfuscate your JavaScript or do different things like that. All of those are available for you to use with Gulp. Now, I'm not gonna do a full tutorial on Gulp because there are resources out there to teach you how already, but what I will be doing later in this month uh, during the full extension development tutorial of everything about making an extension, essentially how this works is you have all of your extension here in the source, and then it's gonna push it out to the destination file um, and take all of your stuff and obfuscate it and do anything you want uh, based on the plugins you ins you've installed. And this will basically allow you to take all of your raw code that's easily readable and for example, I have this JavaScript here and it's all the regular JavaScript code. But after I'm done using gulp and minimizing it and cleaning up the CSS and everything, I'm gonna be left over with some useful obfuscated files. And using it's really simple, it just boils down to going to the folder it's located in and then running a command like gulp jsx bin. And this is gonna go through all of my uh, gulp file essentially down to jsx bin here, which for me will obfuscate things. And then it's gonna clean, clean, copy the files, uglify the JS and then obfuscate the JS and take all of those files and in my destination now, they're all going to be minimized in terms of the CSS and uh, obfuscated in terms of everything else. So the first resource is Gulp, which is a very uh, in-depth program that allows you to apply a lot of different filters and applications to files. And again, that's just used to protect your code and have a faster workflow of cleaning things up when necessary. Because after you're done taking that distributed file, you can basically package it up and everything's ready to go. Another important thing for obfuscating your code is to use JSX bin. If you're not using Gulp or you can't find a plugin for Gulp that converts your JSX code to JSX bin, you'll definitely want to do this. The reason being is if you're going to this length to protect your code and uh, make sure all your files are in a nice tight distributable, you'll want to export all of your uh, scripts as a binary, which you can even save as just a standard JSX and it will appear as so when the user loads it up. And those are really the two main tools I use to obfuscate code and make everything a little bit smoother in terms of workflow. The last thing I would recommend just in terms of automating and making things quick from when you uh, are finished making a bug fix or an update to when you can actually send out that installer file to the user. The last thing I'd recommend is to stay organized. Uh, this is not the best example, but I have a shortcut to all of my extension uh, work that I'm doing on my computer. As you can see, I have my uh, my certificates on the bottom, ZXP sign CMD to uh, license everything. And then I also have everything down here uh, about uh, the files that I've been exporting. And I also make sure I have a folder for all of my installers for the different uh, products I'm working on. I have a folder specifically for Gulp, which we just went over. That way I can easily navigate and do any of the required things. So when I'm uh, actually gonna be later showing you the entire workflow for making an extension, you'll see me using this learn Gulp folder. I'll paste all the uh, extension files in it. I'll run the Gulp process, and then I'll go into the destination folder, copy those files, go back to my extensions folder, paste them into their corresponding folder, and then finally, I'm just going to end up using basically uh, the sign CMD to encode those files with the license. And then lastly, I can save them down here into whatever the name I want them to be, create a folder, and then create the installers with these files. 
So that was just meant to be a quick overview of a few basic ways to uh, secure, obfuscate, and automate your process inside of making extensions. Down below, you'll see the links to our GitHub where you can follow us, get new code, as well as follow us on Instagram for updates of when videos are coming out and ask any questions you have. Also, be sure to hit subscribe uh, to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip, and we'll see you in the next one.